Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Walden Wall Inks. Today we're going to be doing some more inking work and I'm here at Leonard's in Honolulu, Hawaii. Comment down below if you have any questions about this place and don't forget to subscribe. Here's Leonard's. So here's where the human torch flames on and it becomes a giant cosmic bullet and shoots Right over here, he shoots Dr. Doom right in the chest, the big Dr. Doom. So, it's, we're going to talk about this page where Human Torch is flaming on and how I use a quill as well as Micron to work on this piece. Here, take a look. This is for Marvel 21. Uh, the penciler is Jim Chung and inked by myself, Walden Wong. Right here, I'm using uh, a quill uh, to ink. Uh, the human torches a flame because I want all the flame to be bloopy and bumpy. But let me show you the cover for this issue. It's a Marvel 21 issue number six uh, featuring the thing and the human torch. Here's the cover, the nice color cover. There's also variants in stores, but this is the main cover. So as I'm making this, um, I'm using a uh, quill and quill quill holder. Uh, the reason I'm using this is because the quill gives more of a bounce. You can use a brush or a micron, but the quill bounce, the flexibility of a quill can flex better. This way you can have like good line weights, uh, good bouncing line weights, good bloops. Uh, and, and that effects, that effect and texture comes best when you're using a quill like this. So right here I'm making, uh, look right here, I'm, I'm, I'm wiping, every so often you gotta wipe clean your uh, quill and then re-dip the ink. Uh, I usually feed the ink with a dropper and as I'm feeding, uh, sometimes I'll use the side of the dropper to wipe off SS ink. Uh, this whole video took maybe 30, maybe 40 minutes to complete this one panel. Uh, this video, I sped it up and it only took like maybe 7, 8 minutes. But in actual time, it was 30 minutes. So as I dip the ink, uh, as I feed the ink, I should say, I use a dropper and then I'll continue uh, inking. Every so often I would clean it. And then when I feed the ink, I would only feed the bottom of the quill. The other side, the top of the quill, I don't have any ink. This way, the ink flows better. So I will continue inking here. Now, on this on this panel, I'm inking all the flames first. I'm not inking any of the anatomy of uh, Human Torch. So right here, just all the fire, all the blooping lines, all the curves. As I'm doing this, I'm using my left hand and I'm turning the page. I'm pivoting the page, just because my right hand can flex better the quill. Here, I'm dipping the ink again and using the side of the dropper to uh, absorb some of the extra ink. Some artists will dip their quill into a bottle of ink and then flick excess out. When I'm using the dropper, um, I'll just dip it in and then use the side of the dropper and I'll kind of pull back a little bit. And then it will give me just enough ink on the quill. Watch, I'll wipe the, wipe the quill dry. I'll dip the ink, I'll drop a few drops in there. And then if it's just right, I'll start. If it, when there's too much ink, I'll use the side of the dropper and I'll swipe excess off. Okay, right here, doing more of the floopy flames. A lot of flames. So when I was working with Jim, I would uh, talk to him a lot and then find out what he would like uh, with his inks. Usually when I'm working on projects, I like to find out what the person likes as much as I can if I can get in touch with him. Uh, Jim likes using pit pins, so I, I also use a lot of microns for the rest of the book. But for the flame here, I'm using a quill. See, watch how I fe watch how I feed the quill again. I'll feed it like that, and then the excess ink I'll swipe it on the side, just like that. After a while, not only am I able to control the quill, I'm able to control with the dropper how much ink I want directly onto the quill. Okay, more of the flame, more of the bloopiness, and then we're getting pretty fairly close to finish with uh, using the quill. After I'm done using the quill, I will use a uh, micron, a Statler uh, micron. Uh, again, uh, I spoke to Jim. Jim likes using pit pin. Pit pin is like another form of a micron pin. It gives a flat line, and then you can use a micron to kind of build the line. So as soon as I'm done with this quill, I'm going to use a, uh, a micron, and I'll show you what size. 
so it can take it, it can sell these poopy lines. Again, it, this is all the flames on the outside, none of the anatomy first. Some of the hair, more on the side. One of the first things I do when I'm making is I'll ink all the faces and hands. That's why the hands and the faces are done. And now the flames are in. Now the flames are finished. I'm gonna grab a uh, micron. Let before the, before that, let's take a look at some of the flames. Look at some lines. They're bloopy. They're thicker. They're thinner. And I would just bounce the line weight around. I would separate the background line weights from the foreground line weights. It's always important to be able to separate uh, what's in front and what's in back. Now here is the Statler Micron, the size 0.1, the pigment liner. Oh, it works the same as uh, as pit pens. I have another video that shows uh, how to refill refill the microns. You can look at it in some of my other videos. Uh, now I'm using the Micron pigment this this pen to fill in all the anatomy, all the uh, line work of the body. This micron gives me more of a flat line, so I'll use that and I'll build line. I can always use a brush, but because Jim likes uh, inking his own work with a pit pin, a micron, I would want to do the same thing. So over here, I'll continue doing all the interior lines. And every so often there's some flames in the inside, I would just uh, add those on right there. Keep all the line work somewhat the same. And it's almost kind of a triangular, tapular lines on the sides, some minor details. And just like that, it's all done. There's, here's the sacrificing himself. Here's the color file of how it looks. And there you have it. There's the ink page of uh, Johnny Storm Flaming on to turn into a giant cosmic bullet. He blasts off, shoots Dr. Doom. Doom right in the middle of the chest. It's for Marvel 2 and 1 issue number 6. So one more time, take a look at this. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like, and any questions, comment down below. Thank you.